Alright, what's up everyone? Shredding Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more killing of Lorado! Well then boys, today we're gonna be trying out the MG3 Shredder, I'm just gonna be talking about is it worth having or not? So yeah, the MG3 Shredder, this thing is gonna be a tier 5 weapon for the commando and what is it all about? Well, it's a belt-fed machine gun. alt for activates shred rounds that fire in a cone in front of you. This is actually something that I didn't showcase in my first impressions video because I totally forgot. So we're just gonna be doing that today and these are gonna be my current skills for the commando, pretty much what everyone uses all the time. Now you could change from fallback to impact rounds, something that could be good on this weapon because you know it increases stumble power. So yeah, let's just go and see what this weapon is all about. Now something worth mentioning as well is that yeah, this thing only weighs 9 kilograms whereas you know the minigun, this bulky piece of shit weighs 10. And what does that mean? Yeah, you can still have the M16 alongside it, you know, for just like throwing nades at flesh bones, big crowds, stuff like that. Yeah, always fun to have the M16. Well then, without further ado, let's just go and see what the minigun, or should I say the MG3 Shredder, is all about. So yeah, this is, you know, the cone firing, it's pretty much just a gigantic waste of ammunition, if you ask me, boy. Oh god. Absolutely shredded, my dudes. Now this thing, yeah, its sound effects are pretty piss poor, if you ask me. But it does have, you know, basically no recoil, it's not like that hard to control. And it's quite a pog freaking weapon. It just does the job, it's got, you know, a large freaking magazine capacity, so you can just like shoot endlessly pretty much. The reload cancel, as you can see, once he like half puts the new bag in, you can just like reload cancel it and that's pretty much it. So the reload is not well, yeah, all that long anyway. So yeah, kinda, kinda cool. And the bash as well, yeah, the bash on this weapon is actually good. It just aligns, it just feels natural, unlike, you know, the other weapons they recently put out. Yeah, boy. Because I do love bashing Zeds, you know, in this game. It just has a lot of purpose, you know, bashing the Zeds. You can just, like, cancel their attacks, you can, you know, even kill the little things. Stuff like that. Bashing is... Yeah, always good. Always pretty, pretty pog. Not to mention it's satisfying as fuck. Yeah, boy. Okay, fair enough. If he puts his freaking arm in front, then you can't actually bash him, but... It is what it is. But he's stuck. Or he's just, like, coming down slowly there. So yeah, the cone. Yeah, I would mostly use the cone if you're just like shooting at a group of spooders or something. Otherwise, it's just not useful at all. Okay, where's my man gonna be coming from? Just gonna whoop him with my M16. I completely whiffed, yeah, thanks, man. Well then, Clot, not sure what your priorities are, but I'm just gonna whoop you right up. Now, there are going to be better weapons than the MG3, just like the F and Fall is gonna be better for damage. There's gonna be the FAMAS. This thing is, you know, basically no recoil and a lot of damage as well. You got the Scar, you got the Stoner, you got the HM Tech 4 one this is, you know, for healing as well. So it really just depends on your playstyle with the Commando, do you want to, you know, support the team, just, you know, do a lot of slow motion, heal them, do a lot of damage. This thing is kind of like, well, I'm not really healing the team, but it's doing decent damage. And you can extend slow motion comfortably if you get into slow motion. Now, of course, we get an EDAR right off the bat. Actually annoying as fuck. So yeah, the aim on this thing is also pretty satisfying as well because... I mean, you don't have like a gigantic freaking scope that you have to worry about. So yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. The no recoil helps as well. And if you crouch down, you got even less, which is kinda nice. Let's see that. Okay, he's actually dead over there. Yeah, boy. Freaking spooders out of nowhere, eh? Yeah, I just love it. I mean, honestly, just always reload when you can, because, I mean, you just can reload cancel at any time, so there's really no negative to, you know, reloading all the time, boy. I mean, I still just laugh at the dudes that say, oh, but Putfunder, why do you reload after one shot? That is just not logical, yes? I mean, the dudes probably don't understand that you can just, like, reload cancel at any time. Because that's what this game is all about. I mean, look, I can reload and then just like bash him, shoot him, 
you can do whatever because that's what killing floor is all about now since this thing is you know a tier 5 weapon that pretty much means you're gonna have it you know mid to late game especially if you're playing long games then even more probably i mean i don't usually play long games because they're boring as fuck i usually just play you know short or medium yeah boy so yeah, that's just my personal preference yeah b -b -b boy god i love this thing man the bash on it i just absolutely adore it i mean props for them for not making a bash that's you know out of sync or just doesn't line up not sure how they messed the bash up on other weapons but at least they didn't like mess it up with this one so yeah if you actually adore the mg you know style stuff like that i would definitely recommend this weapon now i mean obviously if you don't want to you know spend money on killing floor don't get it because it's just nothing well, yeah, new. you got, you know, the stoner that's for free. You got the, what's it called? F and fall that's for free. This weapon, it's just another generic machine gun, but has a gimmick of shooting a cone thing that consumes a lot of ammo and it does less damage because reasons. If you ask me, yeah, I do like it. This is a weapon I can fuck with. Okay, ought to fill everything up. Now we're gonna be getting some flesh bones, scrakes most likely. So let's see how this weapon's gonna be performing against them. I still don't know where the best camping spot on this map is because this is literally like my second time playing this map. And I still haven't found, you know, the trophy room and stuff like that. Still have to, you know, find that shit. Okay, let's try the cone. Yeah, I guess the cone is good for spooders, even though it didn't kill, kill like, all of them for some reason. Shit. What the fuck, fidget? What the hell are you doing? No, and there is even more of them. Get destroyed. Yeah, I do like it. This is quite a nice, satisfying weapon. Like I said, just the sounds need to get, you know, fixed, because it doesn't even sound like a machine gun. It's just like a freaking water gun, if nothing else. Okay, I didn't kill the spooder, because... The bloat was in the way. I absolutely hate it. Oh, God damn. We got more bloats and I'm out of ammunition here. Is she it? Yeah, not sure exactly where the hell even I am. Where the hell even I am. That's, that's just some nice. Okay, thanks. Flash bone for your contributing damage. Okay, I do have like the M16. Just like whoop him with the M16, throw an 8. And then just like finish him off with the MG. Why not? Oh, come on, just get me out of the corners, man. Don't wanna be here. But they're still a little bit torn that, you know, this map is just, like, nothing special. It's just a castle map. Doesn't even have, like, any objective mode on it or anything. It's just a generic map. Something that you would find on, well, yeah, the workshop boy. Okay, this can't, like, bash because there's too many hitboxes in between, so it's not even gonna, like, bash anything. Well then. Oh, we got a screwy fucking screwy screw. Okay, let's just get him on like an even playing field and then just like shoot him up until he dies. Just like that. No, oh, easy clap, yeah, thanks. Husk, I didn't expect that one from you. Piece of shit. Then off you go. To La La Land. God. Yeah, I like it. For me personally, I like it. I'm probably gonna be using this thing. It is just a shame that, you know, the animations are not up to standard that what we were used to back in the day. And the sounds are pretty wank. Other than that, it's a good weapon. So yeah, do let me know what you guys think about the MG3 Shredder. Did you use it? Are you gonna be using it? I mean, what do you think about me just playing with it? stuff like that because i am quite curious okay what do we have in here let's just auto fill everything up just like that and we should be theoretically good to go i mean obviously gonna be getting like a lot of flesh bones a lot of scrakes something that you know the commando is not like the best at killing but i do have the m16 pretty cool will have backup for stuff like that okay just gonna throw that just to well, yeah, have it there. Oh my god. Wait, where is the dude that's alive? Oh, there he is. Can't even see shit. Got like a lot of balloon action. I mean, if you just like hold down the button, yeah, you do feel a little bit of, how would you say, the recoil. Other than that, yeah, it's just, 
which is good. I mean, what else is there to say? Okay, this is quarter point land. Man actually got destroyed. Okay, I'm probably not gonna get like any slow motion anytime soon. Let me just... How did you rage? Who the hell raged you? Who hurt you, man? Because I ain't sure. Okay, it's freaking corp on just like all over the place. Let me go down the stairs. Okay, never mind. Just gonna turn around real quick. So I can shoot some... A lot. I'm just gonna throw that shit down just to... Will I kill him first? Ow! Can you stop it, fam? Just wanna reload in peace. There we go. Freaking... Got like all the Zs here. I mean, it would be cool if I got like a crosshair or something, but... It is just, you know, the killing floor spirit to just... Will I shoot without any crosshair? And if you know, that's how I played, you know, Killing Floor 1. And that's still how I'm playing Killing Floor 2. But yeah, if you have a crosshair in this game, yeah, it does become... Well, yeah, child's play, pretty much. Oh! No, that spoiler just, like, did some acrobatic shit back there. How did you punch me in the way that just, like, stepped on your ass? Okay. We're still alive and kicking right now. God, I love the bash, man. I mean, at least, you know, Killing Floor, even though the content is dying down, I mean, this is like the last content update as far as I know for Killing Floor, we're still gonna get like the December update, but that's just gonna be like bug fixes and shit. So not like an actual update, but... Yeah, the game still holds up to this day. It's got, you know, those like satisfying things in it, you know, just like bashing, reload cancelling, the only thing it's missing is a little bit better movement. And then this game would be pretty much complete. And that's hopefully what Killing Floor 3 is gonna be. Not the freaking stalkers out of nowhere. But yeah, man, I do enjoy the MG3. This is just my my style of gameplay, pretty much just like spraying and praying, not a lot of recoil, easy to control. Yeah, it's all quite epic. Oh wait, you can actually go in here. I thought this was only when Hans is gonna be coming out. Wait, does that shit open? Okay, I think that shit opens, yeah. Okay, I think this is gonna be like a cool camping spot because they can only come from... Well, yeah, not a lot of locations. But yeah, something that you guys pointed out as well that I didn't even notice in my previous video was that... Yeah, at the end where, you know, Hans is the boss... Like, where the hell am I now? Okay, the light doesn't even work. Okay, here we go. So yeah, at the boss wave, yeah, we actually get like mini Hans clones. Which is kind of cool looking. Oh, well, here we go. We got Hans. No, and the camera just like bugged out. Well, shit. Okay, let's just throw all the nades I got. Just because, why not? Now, the commando, it's not usually my... Well, yeah, preferred perk to pick against bosses. Because it's just actually sad in damage. So I'm just gonna like whoop him a little bit with my M16. Okay, here is the Hans. Yep, we got like some little Hans clones. I mean, that's kind of cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, what's he doing you, even? Hans, get your shield absolutely clapped up. Let me reload my nades. The fuck are you doing? Oh god, okay, this is why I just like love the M16. Absolutely adore it. Oh my god, I mean, just look at this dude, man. Hope you actually grab me here. A shit. I mean, fair enough, I do have like a lot of freaking armor still. It's just like. Okay. Whatever, Hans. Just shoot me then, I guess. I mean, you're not like doing that much damage. Because you do be sad. What is this, Halner? What the fuck? Okay. Freaking Hans clone to the moon. Yep, he grabbed me again, he thinks, man. Okay, time to heal and run away. Maybe a grenade. But yeah, honestly, the MG, if you're playing solo against any boss, yeah, this thing's gonna work. But if you're gonna be playing a six player, hell on earth, yeah, this thing's not gonna be working at all. But yeah, MG3. Pretty pog ass freaking weapon, if you ask me. It's not that bad. Well then, boys, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're still gonna be looking at the other weapon probably tomorrow. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do let me know what you guys think about the MG, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.